Hi, this is Kevin Cook. Thank you for coming back to the Heavy Construction Equipment Podcast. In this episode, we're going to talk about the high attrition can have a larger impact on the construction projects. And again, this episode has been sponsored by me. Are you looking for good, used quality equipment? Then come to my website at www.heavyequipmentguy.com or call me at 817-733-3799. And are you looking for great Caterpillar apparel, hats, shirts, uh, shoes, uh, toys, stuff like that, all with the logo on it? Go to this, which is affiliate link, which helps pay for this uh, podcast. Go to www.heavyequipmentarticles.com forward slash cat hats. All right, here we go into the podcast. In the construction business, employees from different departments play a crucial role in the overall development of the project. You can't you want the project in on time? Well, you'll need to ensure that you have the have the men and women by your side and that they're you can end up completing it in a given time or deadline. However, the men and women leave the company for any reason of the prospect of a project ending on time gets jeopardized. This is why it's important to ensure the attrition rate of the construction business is low. You got to take good care of the employees and see that they do not leave the company for any silly reasons. The reasons can be tackled and settled by sitting together and having a discussion. This is precisely the task of management would be. They need to talk to a lot who is disgruntled from some reason or the other and try to root out the issue from its core. Now one, skilled men and women get jobs easy. People who work as unskilled labor may have a hard time getting another job if they ever want to leave their existing one, but the ones who are skilled never have a problem for them. The construction workers who are skilled and experienced are required in good numbers by the, any construction company or contractor, therefore exit their company in a way that can be looked at some kind of loss to the company. It, it can have a larger impact on the company if they do not manage to get a replacement in time, and getting a replacement is one of the challenges. The focus should therefore be retaining your people or folks. Try and understand the core issue why they want to quit. This will help you know if the others also have a similar issue. If they have then, then they can be rooted out at the right at the beginning so it won't spread like a wildfire. Next, projects are delayed due to lack of manpower. Crunch in manpower can be a significant row or problem for any industry when it when it's all about construction and it has devastating effects on the projects. There are numerous projects that are halted due to the workers or just because they have no workers at all. It is certainly not a good picture to portray. It shows how effective the management is that they can't hold back their work, so they play a crucial role in the company. This can also be a, have an impact on getting future projects. This all works in a circle, and hence you got to get your things right from the very moment you are serious about this problem, or since those are a problem. You know, fix it. Fix it immediately. And lastly, boost the morale of the workers by giving awards. You know, give them days off. Give them money. Give them a little bit of everything. Give them awards. Giving awards and and rewards should be regular affairs in your company. Management should pick the worthy employee and give them some kind of gift card or cash prize or incentive of every quarter. Please note that you do not pick the same guy or gal every time. Try to pick talent from various departments and give them prizes. You can even do this with the contract laborers. This will motivate the employees and will bring down the attribution. Again, you know, take care of everybody. Work together as a team, and it will all come together. If you got any questions, give me a jingle, 
37.99. Thank you and God bless.